Hey everybody, what's up? I wanted to put together a video quickly to talk about Juicero. It's all the rage. Uh, Friday, if you haven't heard, the news came out that Juicero is shutting down, closing its doors. And the reason I wanted to make a video about this is because after reading so many articles, I feel like some people are confusing what's actually happening with Internet of Things versus what happened with Juicero and how they're not as closely related as a lot of people are thinking. And so for those that don't know, Juicero was originally a $700 juicing machine that you bought and then you bought these packages that had a QR code on them, you stuck them in the machine and uh, they had an eight day shel shelf life. So if by scanning the QR code, the machine said that's nine days old, no juice for you. And so uh, that's how it worked. And then it would use its unprecedented four tons of squeezing power to give you juice. Um, and so uh, the machine eventually went down to $400. And uh, finally, they've decided that there's just not enough of a market for that. And as I've been reading these articles, I I've been seeing that people are relating this too much to Internet of Things and how Juicero was a fad just like the Internet of Things is a fad. And my friends, that is not the case at all, so I don't want you to confuse it. And so uh, the New York Times uh, said in one of the, in their articles covering the closing of Juicero said, the company was a particularly bold bid to capitalize on the hype around the so-called Internet of Things. There's nothing so-called about the Internet of Things, New York Times. The Internet of Things is a real thing that is not going away and is coming and is going to take over and consume everything just like software has. And the reason that I, I need to talk about this is because we've seen the pattern before. This has already happened with software. Software came in the 90s, it got really big and then lots of things started happening. There was a lot of hype built up around it and then the dot-com bubble happened and it imploded. Um, Software wasn't a fad. The internet wasn't a fad. It was just the dot-com bubble. There was just some hype around it. And then there was this event horizon that we hit and things filtered out. But software and the internet emerged stronger than ever afterwards. And I feel like we're going through the same thing with internet of things and hardware. People are building products. There's a lot of hype around it, but it's just like software. We're gonna hit some event horizon. I don't know what that's gonna look like, but we're gonna get to another level. It doesn't mean the Internet of Things is a fad, so-called New York Times, come on. Um, and so uh, the other thing I wanna talk about with th that these articles are mentioning that, again, I think is confusing people, is that just because Juicero failed, that there isn't a market for certain things. And so Extreme Tech, from their article, there was no market for a 400 ultra customized cold press juicer that required DRM bag juice that went bad after eight days. There never will be. I mean, I think you're batting 500 there, Extreme Tech. I, you're right, there was no market right now for it. And saying no market is a little, even that is a little iffy. They sold over a million of these packages of juice, which, you know, Bloomberg showed. <laughs> Uh, they did a little video where you could actually squeeze just as much juice out with your hands as the four ton press custom hardware that they built. And so, uh, yes, there wasn't the market for that now, but remember, and by the way, I'm not predicting the future takeover of custom cold press juicers. What I'm saying is back in the 90s, there was a company called Webvan for those that were around back then and Webvan wanted to sell you groceries over the internet. and it was a victim sacrificed on the altar of the dot-com bubble. It doesn't mean that there was never gonna be a market for people buying groceries online or having groceries delivered to their home. I mean, you, you see what I'm saying here? Webvan was not, can't be tied. You can't say there's no market and there's never going to be a market. I'm sure people were saying that. There's never gonna be a market for that stuff. People back in the 90s were literally saying, I will never put my credit card number in on a website. The internet's a fad and there's no way I'm putting my credit card number in on the internet site. Now we just, we click save for future purchases because we don't want to take the hassle of typing it in again. And so just like people were saying, this is a fad and people will never do it and there's never going to be a market. I think people should be careful when they say there is no market. Okay, Juicero couldn't make the business model work, but saying there never will be, 
is a little bit of a stretch. Remember, if it saves you time and is much better, those are the key indicators, right? The Juicero didn't save any time. The Bloomberg article, Bloomberg, the Bloomberg article showed that you could do it in two minutes just as fast as the juice press. So it wasn't saving you time and it wasn't saving you money, not for $700, $400. And it wasn't doing anything particularly better than we've been able to do it before. I wrote an article about this three years ago about how we're in, and it's just perfect timing. Thank you, Juicero, for going out of business for the timing on this. My article was the kitchen appliance phase of hardware where I, I relate the Internet of Things movement to how we have all this kitchen tech, peelers for apples and juicers for apple and cores and slicers and whatever it may be but none of it fundamentally changes the way that we consume an apple but you could spend all this money hardware is going through the same thing we're going through the trajectory that software went through where we are figuring it out we are going through the process of finding out what's useful how do we make it faster how do we make it cheaper how do we make it better and save people time and there's going to be a lot of companies that come and go through that and that's that's going to continue to happen but please, please, my friends, don't mistake that for the Internet of Things being a fad. It definitely is not. The wave is coming, already taking over many things, and is here to stay. So please do not confuse Juicero not being able to make their business model work with the Internet of Things being a fad. It definitely is not. And it's definitely here to stay.